Hey everyone, today we got another uh, review slash unboxing, I guess. But I'm um, really, really excited about this one. This is, uh, I said I, I told you guys I would do bolt action videos, and here we are, my first bolt action video. Where we got the Assault on Normandy. It's already been unboxed, but I want to do a more in depth, show you everything, and talk a little bit more about it. And the more videos we have on bolt action, the better. But uh, to give you a few seconds so you guys can see how awesome it is. Um, so as you guys know, Bolt Action is made by Warlord Games, but it's being published by Osprey, which is, you know, they, they work hand-in-hand -hand with Warlord Games for this, and, um, Osprey is really awesome because they make historical books, they also make books on modeling, uh, historicals, um, they have a very wide range, they also make war games, they make their own rules, of which I'll be reviewing one of them called Ronin, uh, which I showed you guys in the October video. So Assault on Normandy, so obviously, uh, well, not obviously, but from the picture you can see that uh, there are going to be Americans versus Germans. So this box is, you know, similar to the other Warlord Games box sets, but uh, this box is a lot heavier than usual because it comes with a lot more stuff. And I can tell you guys right now, of every game I've ever played, this is hands down the best starter set I have ever had. Um, the best value and the best content, the best production value, the nicest looking um, the best starter set I've ever had, hands down, 10 out of 10, the best, beats every other starter set from every other game, um, from War Machine, uh, Hordes, 40k, Fantasy, uh, Flames of War, everything I've ever played, this beats all of them, this is the best starter set. So here are the sides, on one side it shows you that the Germans painted up, the other side it shows you the Americans painted up, um, here it tells you the contents, so as you can see, it, another thing I love about War, uh, Warlord Games is that with every starter set they give you the full, um, they give you the full hardback, full color uh, rule book, which is fifty dollar value. They give you the entire rule book, not like other companies that they give you a cut down, small, crappy little paper version that's usually cut down, doesn't have a lot of the fluff. No, these guys give you the entire full uh, rule book in hardcover. So as you can see right here, here it is, beautiful, beautiful book. And another reason why it's cut down, the box and the size, is because they made the book, since it's made by Osprey, I guess they took it in a different direction. And this is a little bit different from their other books. So, let's take a quick look at the book first. That's the first thing you, you see. Um, a little bit bigger than the Hail Caesar rulebook, which I showed you guys in the other unboxing I did. Or that I showed you in other videos. Um, this one's uh, a little bit thicker and a little bit smaller compared to the other World War Games books, which the other three books... Uh, Hail Caesar, Peck and Shot, and Bolt Act and uh, Black Powder all have the same size and they're kind of like uh, glossy. Uh, Osprey went more like a glossy art and then like a nice smooth matte black. Real, real nice. It says Osprey right here. Very, very nice. These it could um, uh, There is no better match in, in, in Wargaming uh, between Osprey and Warlord Games. That is just the best match. I'm very happy that they're working together. Um, as usual for Warlord Games, Written by Rick Priestley and Alessio Cavatori, though mostly by Cavatori, he takes more of the credit, but Rick Priestley did help write this. Uh, after all, Warlord Games is his. Um, as you can see here, that is, I'm pretty sure it's a Falsham Jaeger from his camo. And uh, Panzer Grenadier, because he's got the camo helmet. So beautiful art, absolutely stunning. The, as you can see, the trademark bolt action symbol. That right there is uh, their symbol that they went with, that you can get in their trans transport bag. But very nice book, just... My, probably my favorite rule book. I haven't even read it yet. Because um, uh, I love World War II. You guys know I do Flames of War. But I usually like Ancients more. And medieval, you know, Crusades, uh, Ancients, um, stuff like that. But this really, really brought me back into World War II. This this uh, really uh, piqued my interest again. And it kind of revitalized my uh, interest for World War II. Because I kind of let go of uh, Flames of War. It's uh, not that I don't like it, it's just I started getting more into Ancients and stuff, you know, with Hell Caesar and Saga. So, um, but this really made me uh, interested again in World War II. Um, anyway, as you can see, beautiful production, as usual, for Warlord Games. But I think, guys, this is even a step up their usual stuff. Uh, Warlord Games is um, top-notch, the best of the best, I would say. And with this, they brought it even further. They made it even better, which I didn't think they could do. But uh, Osprey, I mean... Them, giving them the free reign, you know, to kind of uh, make it the way they want was a great idea because Osprey did a fantastic job. As you can see, beautiful artwork, full color, um, you know, painted minis, stunning, stunning. And another thing is not just the beautiful artwork, you know, the production value, the aesthetics, but the way it's laid out. I, you know, I've read, I've read about a, a quarter of this 
and what I love is that what they do is they split it up into these very small very uh, specific sections so as you can see that's movement and then it goes a few pages and then it goes into a next section so it's not like four giant sections what they do is they there's many many of these sections as you can see many many each one has its nice little art and it's divided into these little subdivisions vehicles stuff like that so you know you can it's they made it in a way they segmented it so that it's real real easy to read it piece by piece so there's many many small pieces uh, for reading so it's not just four giant sections and kind of daunting very very nice so i will be reviewing that book completely on its own in another video uh, another nice little that comes with this right beneath it a nice little pamphlet um it shows you some of their other box sets as you can see for for the americans the screaming eagles 101st airborne the rangers Mer the standard american infantry just some other things you can buy to upgrade what you get in this set give you some contact information which is pretty nice and helpful uh not so great for me because uh pretty much the only thing i can use here is the email and the website i guess because um you know i'm here in the u.s um just very nice very helpful here they give you an army list using the models that are in the in a suggested army list for each of the armies that you get in the box and does you know some getting started information some nice art just real nice good quality very cool they didn't have to do this it's nice that they did this and it tells you here the full rundown of everything in the box and uh, uh some sample army lists that you can make for them which some recommended army lists which helps you know newer players then usually all World War Games big boxes they come with this little separation if they come with a rule book and then here are the bits this is the good stuff all right as so you guys can see my little paint station here uh, before I show you guys the sprues let me show you this this is another thing that sets this apart it's one of the many things that makes this a great 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 um, starter set as you can see it comes with eight dice four green four like a gray blue kind of like a space wolf blue so uh, these these are very nice customized dice, and you, you would have to buy them separate, but you get them in the box, so these are awesome. Um, you don't roll these. What you do is, uh, you know, I'll explain the mechanics in another video, and then you'll see it in battle reports, future battle reports that I do. But basically, you put these next to, there's six different orders that you can do, and um, you put this next to the unit that you activated so that it shows what you did, you know, to remind you and your opponent. So very nice they give you they didn't have to do this either because um you know they sell these separate in bigger sets so very very nice that they included this um it's in, it's an important mechanic so it makes sense that they did but they didn't have to um so you really can play with you know what you get here obviously you need sprues glue like with every set and uh, tape measure all that dice but very nice that they gave you this very good quality let me show you closer of the one of the gray ones beautiful and then one of the uh, well these are more blue because they do have an actual gray set and green so I guess I would for me I'd probably play the Americans green and the Germans this gray blue um, another nice thing about this set that it's not usual for World War Games um, it comes with bases as you can see many of their sets their older sets do not come with bases like the Imperial Roman Star Army that I reviewed but this one does very nice comes here on the sprue they give you bases for everything that you need. Here, I believe these are. It looks like these are Americans. Yep, these are Americans. Very nice, as you can see. Lots of options. Um, beautiful detail. Very good quality plastic. Different head options. Uh, backpacks. We know with their spades, their entrenching tools. Different pouches you can put on them. You know, bayonets, uh, ammo pouches. Uh, very very cool you can see they're very nice detail on the helmets the mesh covering uh, separate arms so lots of posability very very nice great quality stuff very very cool they even have a guy there with a cigar that's pretty awesome probably make that guy my commander right there it's pretty sweet as you guys know I review cigars so that's really awesome for me now here's another one um, identical sprue so two of those that I just showed you, three and four, four identical sprues right here, one, two, three, four, eight, so 16 there, and then some separate sprues here, 
you get uh, 40 miniatures in this. You get 20 U.S. Army Infantry and 20 German here. So you get two armies of 20, which um, unlike Flames of War, you, these are split into smaller squads instead of whole platoons. Though I'm sure you can make them into platoons. Um, this is 28 millimeter, by the way, for if you guys are wondering. Here's a weapon sprue. Uh, this is shared, I'm guessing, because I see. Oh no, this is American weapon sprue. Yep. Um, very nice. You get different weapons here. You get um, the recoilless rifle, or otherwise known as a bazooka, right here. Very nice. So you also get special weapons. Um, here's a little projectile for it. Here's a bayonet. Here's some guns, some Springfield rifles with a bayonet attached, some Thompson submachine guns. Uh, you have a BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle, right there, real nice. You have a scoped Springfield. You have that, I forgot what that's called, that uh, submachine gun. You have some M1911s right here, some Colts, some 45s, um, more, more Thompsons, more, another BAR. Very, very, well, that's the same BAR. Oh, you even get a shotgun, that's pretty sweet. You get a shotgun right there. And um, some M1 Garands as well. So you get Springfields and, and M1 Garands. You have some um, ammo slings right there. Some grenades. Some binoculars. Some holstered pistols. Uh, you get some canvas thing here. It's another pouch. So lots and lots of, of uh, options for your Americans. Here's another one. More M1 Garands. Another bazooka. Okay. And here are the German weapons. Alright. So three weapons for for the Germans. And they get these separate bases here. These are Renedra bases, I can tell you right off the bat. Renedra, the, the typical green that Renedra makes. Uh, I believe these are 20, no, I think these are 25. Yeah, these are 25 millimeter round bases. Very nice. I do not like 20 millimeter bases. I prefer 25 for 28 millimeter models. So here are some Germans. Okay, very, absolutely stunning details. So many little details here for painting. Uh, pouches, pockets. Um, even the shirt underneath which is a lot easier to see than in 15 millimeter for flames some crouching guys some gear some backpack with a whole bunch of stuff uh, the mess tin gas mask canister a steel grenade uh, grenade in the backpack bedroll and trenching tool loads of detail so many so much detail Wow uh, it's nice to blow it up from 15 from what I'm used to to 28 mil you can see all the details so much better but uh, great quality some guys with the mesh on their helmet some guys without it more uh, separate arms as well for these guys many different heads uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different heads just on this sprue nice officer right there another one with a cap one with an officer um, hat right there some guys kneeling very very nice so that's one two each one makes five so then there's five identical ones I mean four identical ones to make a, a total of 20 same for the Americans these guys get three weapon sprues so let's look at take a look at that I believe they're all the same so here you have a Panzerfaust RPG you have some uh, carabiner rifles very very nice right here you have some hands holding a grenade some binoculars Walther P38 right there you have some MP40s you have some MG42s right here which for some reason in this game they call them LMGs and then I guess there's medium MGs I'm not sure or something like that but in flames we all know that uh, they're considered HMGs but um, you know, this, this is the way they chose to do it for bolt action. You even get an SCG-44, a Sturmgewehr, the assault rifle. Really, really cool. I'm definitely going to be using that right there. Great detail. It's really cool to see uh, modern weapons, you know, for wargaming. Because usually in Flames of War, you don't really realize it, but when it's blown up to 28 mil like this, it's kind of cool, you know, when you're used to uh, Ancients or Fantasy. 
to see like modern you know 20th century weapons in this scale it's really really cool so there's one of those so you get six mg42 so you can go nuts with uh machine guns if you wanted to and you get three of these sprues so you get so you get 21 rifles three of them with bayonets you get uh, three Panzerfausts, you get six MG42s, three guys holding a grenade. Um, six MP40s and three STG44s. Awesome. And another awesome thing about this that they did not have to do is terrain. They give you a ruined farmhouse in this. Uh, plastic, very nice detail as you can see. Uh, windows, some sca some uh, uh, some uh, some wall sections, some corner sections, some ground sections, roofing sections. Very very nice. They didn't have to do this. This is a great addition to this. This, the dice and the rule book just make it, and uh, you know, the models themselves for you know under a hundred dollars is just an absolutely amazing value. Um, this is awesome. This is that they give you this. It's so cool. I'm so appreciated. And the dice, you know, it's just so many things that make this the best. This is one of them. So when all this stuff is painted, I'm gonna do another video showing you guys when all of this is painted. Uh, battle reports with this. They give you a very cool color, not black and white. A full color, very detailed, very in depth uh, building guide. You know, construction guide. and a, f a lot of history and background for modeling um, they even mentioned the different weapons and how they were used and stuff like that here's one for the US infantry and they give you a separate one for the Germans very very cool so here they show you, that's funny those are GW bases um, they give you some you know some built ones so that you can kinda you know uh, use that for inspiration I guess And again, very nice, some painted examples with different poses to give you guys kind of a guide. Very, very nice. One for the Germans, one for the Americans. Very in-depth, very detailed. They give you background information. They label every single part on the sprue. And they even give you background on all that. And it's in color. Very, very nice. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, when these guys are painted, I'll show them I will bring them back so you guys can see. Also when uh, when they're painted, I'm gonna get some some battle reports in with this. I'm gonna be expanding my bolt action armies. I'm gonna be expanding my Germans and my Americans. And I'm thinking of getting either you know a third army, not sure what. Probably gonna be Italians. If the if Warlord Games ever brings back the, um, they have a an army deal for Italian paratroopers. If they ever bring that back, then I will jump on that to make an Italian army. Otherwise, I'll be buying the the Russian starter army or the Japanese starter army. Either of those two. So, okay. so I'm gonna have the book separate from this, but so I can read it. But that was that, the uh, bolt action, Assault on Normandy, made by Warlord Games, written by Alessio Cavatori and Rick Priestley, published by Osprey. Fantastic starter set, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, 100%. The best starter set I've ever bought. And on a separate video, I will be reviewing the bolt action rulebook. Very in depth, I'm going to make it nice and long. I'm going to show you guys all the artwork. Um, you know, not so much the rules, but just a review on the book. Very in-depth. I'm going to do that. Not just a five-minute video skimming through the pages. I'm going to go nice and in-depth. Um, so that was awesome. Now I'm going to do an unboxing of some stuff I got from UK. Some stuff I got from Warlord Games. Just a quick unboxing to show you guys what's going to be reviewed later on. You know, and unboxings are always fun. Alright, guys. As you can see here, also unrelated, but here I have some Warlord Games Imperial early Imperial Romans that I'm painting up. I might, do, I might film myself so I can do a tutorial on how to paint these guys. And that's that, so let me do my unboxing video. Um, again, if you have any suggestions, anything you want to see, 
uh, let me know. Until next time, guys.